Okay, we're going to get started with the first coat. This is, uh, we painted the inner border here, um, as uh, we showed in the first video. And uh, before we get started, we'll use our lint roller. This is very important to pick up any um, dirt, dust, hair. This is uh, really important to have your studio well stocked with lint rollers because you will be using this in between every coat of paint and you'll use it uh, to paint your finish, uh, to clean your finished product before you um, varnish. Okay, so this is actually really dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the, these aren't always easy. So I'm gonna peel off the paper and I'm gonna go ahead, because this is the first coat and it's really important after this, it'll be easier to keep clean. But this raw canvas, um, we really just wanna make sure that it's nice and clean before we start painting, okay? So I'm using a four inch uh, paintbrush this paintbrush I've been using for a long time. Uh, it has short hairs and they're firm, it's firm. Um, so um, it does have some paint that was caught up inside of here, but um, this is a good size. And I'm going to paint right out of the gallon, okay, for this first coat, because I do have such a wide brush. So this is the exterior house paint. Use exterior house paint, okay? And uh, yeah, just glob it on and start, uh, just paint the raw canvas, okay? Now, this first coat is a little bit harder than your following coats because one, the canvas is going to be soaking up this paint and uh, so, and it has a rougher surface, okay? And when I get towards the edge, then I'm just gonna make sure that my edge is painted along the edges. And that's basically it. You have to put a little bit of uh, muscle power into it Okay, and you want to be really sure that when you get here to the corners, that you're really painting in the corner. There's a little fold here where, uh, for on your mitered corner. So you just want to make sure that that's sealed in there. Okay, and this top coat is the same color as the bottom coat. It may not always be, and then if you have, um, maybe this design will have a, a different color border, for example. So maybe this would have a black border. This is going to be the plant life design. But for example, if I want to paint the whole thing beige and then put a black border on it, I would paint this inner border uh, with black. And this beige paint might kind of go over onto the back and that's okay because when I'm finished with the whole thing, I'm going to repaint. I'm going to paint the back of this with the raw canvas, and I'm also going to retouch the color on this border. I just want my rugs to look nice on both sides. Okay, so that's it. That's your first coat. Uh, you let it dry, and then we'll do the second coat and the third coat. Now, if you're doing more than one project, or even just one. I'm gonna turn this around. I should have done this to begin with, but here on the back, I'm gonna put a tape, a piece of masking tape. And I'm gonna mark. How many coats do I wanna put? I wanna put three coats. One, two, three. 
So now I'm doing the first coat, I'm gonna cross out one, okay? That way I know that I've only done one coat and I've got two more coats to go. And that's a really handy way. I also do that when I varnish, except I put four coats of varnish. So I'll put a piece of tape and write one, two, three, four, and that way I can keep track of how many coats that I have. This is really helpful if you're doing more than one project, but even if you're just doing one project, and you go, ah, oh, does that, you know, does that have one coat, two coats? Am I on the second, the third? So anyway, that's what we do. Well, um, I'm gonna continue with this first coat and then we'll um, go on to the second and third coats. Okay, we're back in the studio. We're getting ready to paint the second coat. Um, as I mentioned, use your lint roller uh, first to clean. I've already done a pre-clean because this was really dirty. My studio is practically outdoors, so I get a lot of dust and insects and all kinds of things. But anyway, you want to clean your rug really well and um, mix your paint. Mix your paint really well. Um, I'm just going to use it straight out of the gallon. And you'll find that your second coat will be a lot easier to apply. So just go ahead. What I do is, um, like, after I apply the paint here, I'm going to start a little bit on the inside of where I paint it. Just to make sure I get some really good coverage. And that's it. So you'll be painting your second coat. Make sure if you've applied your um, tape on the back, then mark that your second coat. We talked about um, your tape that you can put on, on the back to keep track of your coats of paint or coats of varnish. And so I'll be marking out um, number two, so that'll help me remember how many coats this has on it. And just make sure that you're looking for, you know, any hairs from your brush that might come off. And, um, you know, that you do, you paint around the edges really well. Okay. And then when I'm finished, when I'm finished, I take a rag, I'll lift it up, and I'll just clean underneath here. Of course, this is my painting table, so a lot of paint will stay, but it just kind of cleans up the extra paint that goes around the edge. All right, so basically paint your this coat, um, then paint the third coat, and then we'll start with the stamping of the plants for the plant life design.